Hi there guys, I hope you are having a good day. Now Eddie Hearn has confirmed that there are three or four offers to stage Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury despite some negativity from Tyson Fury's team. He still believes that he can get this fight done and he said there's no other fight for Tyson Fury, no other fight for Anthony Joshua other than to fight one another. So he remains optimistic at pulling this fight off. Now we did get that TikTok three days left from Tyson Fury. Now that does beg the question, do they have something in line? I mean, Eddie Hearn explained, Anthony Joshua has no backup plan. I mean, there is the Usyk option, but that is one that hasn't been explored by Anthony Joshua and his team or Eddie Hearn. They are going straight for Undisputed. They want Tyson Fury. So therefore, there is no plan B, because if there was, then clearly they don't believe that they can get this fight done. So there is no plan B for them, and they are going straight for that fight. Is there a plan B for Tyson Fury? That is a big question and an interesting one because if there is, then maybe he doesn't believe the fight is going to happen like he says in his interviews, like his team say, like Frank Warren seems to say that the deal has to satisfy both fighters and of course it does, that's the kind of whole idea with the deal being signed and agreed, it has to appease both parties but with him saying that it almost feels like they are putting obstacles in the way. Now, this is what Eddie Hearn had to say about this deal. I know there are some negative people that believe we cannot pull it off, but we spend a lifetime at pulling things off and I believe we will get this done. There is no other fight for Tyson Fury, no other fight for Anthony Joshua, let's get it done. So we do seem to go back and forth, like Eddie Hearn, Anthony Joshua comes out with some exciting and kind of positive news, then Tyson Fury puts that to bed by saying, nah, the fight ain't gonna happen, or John Fury says it, Frank Warren says there are many things that still need to be done and I believe that there are still things that need to be sorted, I mean we know that with the date and venue but I mean they must be further along now especially considering they have offers and places they can stage the fight so if that is there they have the contract agreed for them to fight but obviously they had that time period within 30 days or something like that to get the date and venue agreed and sorted. It seems like that shouldn't be a problem if they have offers to stage the fight. And according to Eddie Hearn, those proposals will be put forward to Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury very soon. So hopefully by the end of next week, you would think that things should be agreed and they should have a date and venue ready to work towards. Now of course the fight will likely happen in July. And Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury will have a date or a ballpark figure of when they believe the fight will happen so that they have something to work towards. Obviously they are elite level athletes so they need to peak at a certain point. So obviously they know what they are working towards, they know the date that is being proposed for this fight. Now Frank Warren said that he wants to be real, he wants to say what is actually going on rather than leading the public on and I guess that that is a dig at Eddie Hearn for him saying that this is happening and that is happening and remaining optimistic that this fight will happen next. Now I do believe that sometimes Eddie Hearn does want to tell everyone straight away as soon as something happens and of course he is optimistic but he does get fights made and I do believe that if he says certain things are in place then they are in place. He is sometimes a bit vague and that's when things aren't but I worry that Frank Warren may be Bob Arum at times, I mean we haven't heard much from him but Frank Warren, Tyson Fury's team, it does seem like they are being real but it does seem also like they are looking at contingency plans so if this doesn't work out they already know what they are going to do. Anthony Joshua, Eddie Hearn don't because they are 100% invested in Undisputed, I mean they would understand that it will be Alexander Usyk if the Tyson Fury fight doesn't happen so they do know that because obviously he is mandatory to the WBO and if there is no exception to make a unification against Tyson Fury then he has no reason not to face him. So I guess that Anthony Joshua does have that in place to know who he would be fighting but that's neither here nor there, he wants to be fighting Tyson Fury so therefore no negotiations have been put in place for him to fight Usyk if Tyson Fury doesn't work out, whereas Tyson Fury putting that time limit saying three days left, that kind of makes you wonder that they have something else in place so that he can go into camp or start working towards a date to fight someone else. That's what it seemed like to me anyway, I don't know about you guys, make sure you leave your thoughts on that in the comments below, but it seemed like three days left, 
get it done, get it sorted, otherwise I'm moving on. That was the tone I was getting from Tyson Fury. The thing is about this fight is it is going to take longer and things need to be sorted out properly because of the magnitude of this event. Apparently though according to Eddie Hearn, there are places interested and they will be put forward to Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua in due course so that they can sort out where this fight will actually take place. Frank Warren explains the site must be agreeable for both the parties, of course it must. But they must be willing to close on the deal when that happens. Tyson Fury and his team really haven't put themselves in a good position if the fight doesn't happen because guess what? Everyone's going to blame Tyson Fury and his team. I mean, even if it's true or not, they're going to say that because he is the one who said he doesn't believe the fight will happen. His team have echoed that. There's not enough money to put into this fight and things like that. So they have put themselves in that position where they will be the ones blamed for this fight not happening if it doesn't take place, although they will likely blame Eddie Hearn, Anthony Joshua and his team. But given they have publicly explained they do not believe the fight will happen on multiple occasions that they have put themselves in that position. Let's remember also this is not just one fight and it is all of the belts on the line as well, so there are a lot of hoops they have to jump through to ensure that they can have undisputed twice. Because there is a situation with mandatories, I mean the WBO with Usyk fighting Joe Joyce, although that seems to be hitting some stumbling blocks as well, but there is that, and WBC as well, Dillian White, that will likely be called next year, so he will be mandatory to the then undisputed champion in 2022. That is of course, if the belts stay together, which I don't see happening, I see them being taken apart after these undisputed fights, but they do have to agree both of these fights, in principle maybe a venue and a date for the second one. I mean, that will likely be put into place later after the first fight, but still, they do have to agree on two fights in 2021. That likely has mostly been wrapped up with the contract they signed, but there is also the question, will the second fight take place in the same place as the first one? I don't believe it will. I mean, the first one could still take place in the UK, the second one in Saudi or somewhere like that, because those places explained they would rather take it later in the year, which did put Wembley back on the table, although... I still fully expect this fight to go abroad somewhere like Saudi and probably the second one as well. But guys anyway what are your thoughts on this? Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below, also leave a like and grab that subscribe button. Thanks guys.